I'd like to talk to you about a legendary physics demonstration called the Monkey and Hunter. It's legendary because not many people have actually seen it work, but it's one that's really worth doing if you're looking at projectile motion with your students. Now you can buy specialist equipment for this, but I'm going to show you how you can do it using bits and pieces that you can find lying around most school science labs. Now the monkey is just a tin can, and it's hanging from a tree, which is an electromagnet made out of a transformer coil and a C core. The circuit is completed across the lab using the longest wires you've got because it's much more impressive if you do it across a, a long distance. And it's connected by a very thin, thin piece of foil here in front of my gun, which is just a hollow tube, which I'm going to use like a pea shooter with this plastic ball. You can use a marble or a ball bearing or any other similar setup. And the idea, of course, is that when the ball passes through the tube, it breaks the strip, disconnects the magnet, the monkey falls, and miraculously, the bullet hits the monkey. Now, it's a fairly straightforward setup. However, if you've ever tried this, you'll know that things don't always go to plan. Now, believe it or not, it's not the aiming that's the problem here, because with this setup, you just sight it down the tube. What I think I was doing wrong is that every time I used the tube, I was wobbling it slightly so that the aim was thrown off. Now, I could have fixed that by perhaps using an extra clamp here or using a mechanical shooter that ensured a reliable projectile every time. There are some other problems that you'll probably encounter. For example, sometimes the foil doesn't break, so it's really important to use a very thin piece of foil. It is quite fiddly to get right, but it's really worth doing for the impact on your students. <laughs>